Welcome back to JB Reviews. Let's talk about half ton towable fifth wheels. Are they really half ton towable? Let's find out in this video. Recently, I did a video on a Keystone Cougar half ton towable. What I learned from these fifth wheels is they're typically no longer than 36 feet. They're under 12 and a half feet in height and the dry weight, keep that term in the back of your mind or unloaded vehicle weight is never over 10,000 pounds. So they normally start off around 7,000 pounds and they kind of creep up as you get longer in the fifth wheel. Now, I did find a half ton that should be able to stay within its limits with this fifth wheel, should. And we are gonna put the numbers in a spreadsheet and crunch them and see just how much capacity will be left over. But before we do that, let me show you the fifth wheel that we're going to basically be using for this scenario. I'm gonna show you a little bit of footage of it uh, just a quick walk through on the interior and then I'm going to show you the numbers and then we will check out the truck next. Now here's the rear of the 23 MLS and this has a rear kitchen and I do like the overall floor plan layout. If you would like to see the full video you can go back and watch it. I'll put it into this video. Here's the bathroom. You do have a seat, porcelain toilet and surprisingly they do have an under-the-counter sink. I don't know why more RV manufacturers don't do this. Now this does have a front bedroom and I love the way the bed is facing because if you do plan on traveling and you don't want to stay at a campground you don't have to put a slide out to get into your bed. And overall a lot of storage, your wardrobe is right here. Let's go take a look at the outside. Now this is a short fifth wheel as you guys saw it's about just under 27 foot. I might say it's just under 26 foot but I apologize. It does have a decent sized storage area too. And here are the numbers. This does have an unloaded vehicle weight of 7,280 pounds, 10,000 pound gross fuel weight rating, and the gross axle is going to be 2, so it's 4,400 times 2, and it's going to be 8,800 pounds for the capacity. And here's your cargo carrying capacity, or what you can add to this RV. It's going to be 2,660 pounds. So when you see 7,200 pounds, naturally you think oh man my truck is rated for 10,000 or 11,000 pounds of towing capacity right but what you don't normally see is that 10,000 pound gross fuel weight rating obviously you're going to have to add stuff to the rv you can add up to 2,600 pounds to this fifth wheel which means normally that weight's going to go to the front of the rv because of the storage area it had a pretty big storage area too and you have to consider the options. So if you did get the optional AC unit, if you do get the solar, uh, if you do add solar, you get extra batteries. The propane tanks and batteries do not get configured in the weights either. So when you go to an RV dealership, here's what they're gonna typically show you. All right, so let's go ahead and click on this half ton fifth wheel here. I forgot to mention too that the RV manufacturers like to talk about max turn technology too, like or having the cap designed for short bed trucks and they use the half ton name for that purpose too. So just keep that in mind. Now let's take a look at, they don't make the same model that I showed you guys for 2023. So this is the closest thing to it basically. As far as the weights go, this is what you're gonna see at the dealership. They're always gonna show you this and you can kind of see what Keystone's doing too. They don't show you the gross fuel weight rating anymore because they probably said it was too confusing. So they only show you the shipping weight and then they show you the cargo carrying capacity. Now, obviously, if you add these two together, that's going to give you the GVWR of the trailer. So it's showing also that the hitch weight is going to be 1,200 pounds. If you take the hitch weight and you divide it into the shipping weight, that's going to give you 16% hitch weight. On my channel, I've had a couple guys tell me they bought half ton towable fifth wheels that had 1,100 pounds, 1,200 pounds of dry hitch weight. And when they got the trailer weighed with their truck, it turned into about 2,000 pounds because obviously, again, the propane, the batteries, and any of your stuff you add to the RV are not included in these weights. So we're gonna use 18%. I'd like to use 20%, but hey, we'll use 18% in this scenario. Let's go ahead and take a look at the half ton. Spoiler alert, this one has way too many options on it. And you're gonna see what I mean by that. Now here's a good example of a half ton. This is a base GMC Sierra Pro. It don't get any baser than this. Uh, it does still have the LED lights, so that's a really nice upgrade from other trucks. But you're gonna have a steel wheel this does have the shorter cab too. 
and just look inside the interior. I mean, there's not a lot of frills. And I believe this one does have the longer bed too. All righty. So slightly longer bed. The only thing that is missing is the max tow package, which honestly, I would definitely get if you're looking to tow with something like this. So here are some of the options on this one too. So it's not much. This does have the upgraded 5.3 liter and 323 rear axle. And total price is 50,172. Here's some of your affiliate comment numbers if that's something that you're interested in too. And then here's some of your standard equipment. So be sure to pause if you want to see more. So here are the numbers for the truck. I am going to show these to you guys again in a spreadsheet, but I figured if you want them here, they're right here for you too. One thing I've learned in life is that numbers do not lie. So here's the GMC's towing number. So the curb weight of this truck is 5,158 GVWR, gross combined vehicle weight rating, and then your payload, which is actually pretty darn good at 1842. And then towing capacity, this was for the gooseneck and the fifth wheel. Now, because this is a couple's fifth wheel, I figure the passengers, 200 pound man, 135 pound female, and then I would figure you'll probably use a gooseneck hitch for this, so just to save as much capacity as possible. But if you're using a fifth wheel hitch, you could easily, easily get here. But for this scenario here, I'm gonna use 250. Now, available payload is 1257, which is pretty darn good. Because you already have your, again, this is a couple's trailer, but you have your couple in there. You have your cargo, which is kind of low, but 1257. Now, you saw online that the hitch weight was 1,200 pounds. So, in essence, if you go camping without propane, batteries, no options added to the RV, and a prayer maybe, you might be able to make this work. But you're so close, um, you have no room for error, basically. Okay, so are you guys ready to get back to reality now? Let's go and add 1,700 pounds here. Let's go make this 9,000, okay? And let's change this. This is going to be 18% of, of this weight is going to be 1,620 pounds. Oop, I'm doing that wrong. 1,620 pounds. So, again, you're going to go over your payload. I promise you. There's really no half ton available to tow these fifth wheels. And it's because of the hitch weight obviously you see people do it all the time but if you look at the suspension if you look at some of the components on the frame it's so different from an hd truck now again if i were doing the numbers for myself i would take the gvwr of ten thousand pounds i would multiply that by 18 percent, and that would give you 1800 pounds that gives you at least worst case scenario it's going to vary depending on how you load your RV though and how you load your truck. So you could easily, some people are probably more like right here and some people are probably more so in this area of weight. And it's so easy to exceed your GVWR and your payload on these half tons. That's why I don't recommend them. Here's the truck that I would use for this fifth wheel. I did a video back in 2021 on this 2022 Chevy Silverado 2500. This does have the gas engine and it's a custom trim. I did a full review on it. I will put it at the end of this one if you would like to see more. But let's go ahead and take a look at the spreadsheet so you guys can see how much capacity you will have left over. So here it is. I don't have to say anything other than you are way under on your capacities. As far as your gross fuel weight rating goes, it's 10,650, but your curb weight is 7,051. One thing I like about HDs is they do weigh considerably more than half tons. So when you are towing a longer, heavier trailer, you do get more control having more weight on your tow vehicle. Now, as far as your payload goes, this truck has a ton, 3,599 pounds. Towing capacity, this is for gooseneck and fifth wheel, 16,620. So, if you are heavier, 450, you and your wife are a little bit heavier. Hey, we're in America, so let's, we don't have to hide that. And let's just say you want to use a nicer hitch or something like that. You have more than enough capacity. If you want to max out the hitch weight, you will more than have enough truck for this fifth wheel. But here's what you need to understand about half-ton towable RVs. 
The RV manufacturers are not necessarily saying that these trailers are half ton towable. They're really saying they're so light and they're so short that maybe a half ton could tow it. But you don't really see it in their advertisement. If you go on the websites, you can go on any of their websites. Do you ever see them actually showing a half ton towing their trailers? Even the lightest one that they have, you don't. Now, in this scenario, one thing I did not go over was that GMC had a 3,800 pound gross axle weight rating. The problem with that is this, I guarantee you, if you add 16, 1700 pounds of weight on that axle, you're gonna exceed it. And even if you get the max tow, which does increase that axle rating in the rear, you're still gonna go over your payload and you still even might be close on that axle too. So my recommendation is this, go three quarter ton gas. And in some cases go diesel, but you have to be careful because if it has a 10,000 pound GVWR, even a diesel three quarter ton will run on a payload because they're so heavy. So do your research. I hope this was helpful. Be sure to share it if you thought so, and I'll see you guys soon.